Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and everything goes well for you. Well, today I want to talk to you about the emergency fund and why is it so important to have one because things happen and sometimes stuff happens and you have to replace things and that costs a lot of money. This week our pool pump broke, so we had to replace our, our like half of our pool equipment stuff. That was a lot of money. And then because we, after we ordered it online, we had to wait like a week to get it. And then a few, few more days for my husband to have some time to actually install it. So yesterday he did all that and we were cleaning our pool. I'll show you. Uh, I don't know if you can see the pool, uh, the water is still, it's still filling up, but we were cleaning the pool yesterday and because the pool, like I said, the pool pump wasn't running, um, we had to replace the water. So that, that costs money too, like to fill it up with water again. I'm sure that's going to show up on our electric bill because our, um, well, he uses electricity to, um, so, so we could have water and you might see there is um, still some water here it was all flooded yesterday and you can see my goats there I don't know if you can see that yeah yeah so we, we were cleaning the pool uh, yesterday and now filling up with new water oh, but when something breaks, it's not only that it's costing you money to replace things, it's also actually a lot of work to replace it and fix it and all that stuff. And that's why you need the money so you could possibly have some time off to do it and to purchase the new stuff to replace it. Um, we always had an emergency fund even before we started budgeting even before we heard anything about Dave Ramsey or any other people um, that teach you budgeting and financial stuff we always had money to for just in case if something happens and it was of course different amounts um, because we were like renting before it was less and now because we um, own the house and lots of uh, like appliances and things that might break anytime and cars that might need replacement or break at any time our emergency fund has to be a lot more so this year we had to use it a lot first our um, in March our um, well pumps uh, the motor pump went out so we had to replace that and not only we had to spend money to buy the new pump we also had to spend like two days um, replacing it like pulling the old one out and putting the new one um, in and I also made a video about that in March I think um, I'm gonna put a link down below about why is it important to have emergency fund because stuff like that happens you have to replace things also later in April replace our washing machine because uh, the washing machine we had was really really old we had it for about 11 years and before we had we got it used uh, people who had it also used it for I don't know how many years but they bought it at the garage sale so I don't know how many owners that washing machine had and it was probably was 20 year old years old or something but we were got, we got it for free because those people wanted to throw it away and my husband saw it like oh I can still fix it, so he fixed, it, fixed that and we were able to use it for 11 years. But it finally, after breaking so many times, it finally broke, so my husband said it's not worth fixing it anymore. So we had to spend like over $600 buying a new washing machine. So while I'm happy with my washing machine, you can see my laundry hanging. 
and in the back here. Yeah, and, I, and today is 4th of July, so I wanted this laundry to get dry before people start doing fireworks because when people are doing fireworks, it stinks and yeah, it just you don't want to be outside after that. Yeah, and then also we had to replace our pool pump and equipment and stuff, some of it. So, stuff happens and it takes money and time to get back, back to normal. So, that's why the more appliances, the more things you have that are yours that possibly need to be replaced, um, the, more, the bigger emergency fund you're supposed to have in order to be sure that whatever happens, you have enough money to replace it. Um, one of our cars, that the car that I'm driving, is actually really old, so we possibly will have to replace it um, sometime in the beginning of next year. So, right now I have to put more money into emergency fund, so this month I wasn't able to add anything extra on my mortgage because, well, I could, but then I wouldn't be able to put anything into an emergency fund. And because, yeah, who knows what else gonna break because we have lots of other things that are like really old but still working. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the most recent thing that happened. This morning our lawnmower is really really old and because we we got it used about 10 years ago so you can only imagine how old it is but this year for a couple months it was giving me trouble because it, it was hard to start so this morning I asked my husband to start it for me so I could could cut the grass so he went and looked at that before he went to work and he tried to start it and he couldn't then he looked at it and said yeah the lawnmower died too so we're gonna have to buy a lawnmower uh, soon because my grass is getting tall and I was gonna cut it today but I couldn't so another thing that we're gonna have to spend money on yeah so that's what happens when you like trying to save money and have most of your things that are really old yeah some when you have too many things that are old and you keep them long and long time after a certain time they all gonna have to be replaced but it just happened that you know most a lot of our things getting replaced like at the same time I mean the same year hope we're lucky it's not in the same all in the same months but yeah, a lot of things we're replacing their own the same year. So I'm just saying, so it, it is very important that if you guys, the more appliances, the more tools, the more things you have, and if you own your house, repairs can, unexpected repairs can happen anytime. So the more things you have, you have to have a replacement emergency fund just in case. Okay, I wish you good luck so you would not have to use all your emergency money. So good luck and yeah, if you like this video and please subscribe and have a nice day. Bye. Yeah, that noise. Sorry about that. We had to um Yeah. There it goes again. And um, so, like, oops. Okay, so oops. there's.